Hey and welcome back to the channel. Today's video, you guessed it right, again, to the Venus OS update. And this time it's about the Venus OS 3.40. And yes, we might have skipped one, but uh, maybe not. So there was an update for 3.3, that's the one we did. And then there was also 3.34, which was just for Venus OS large, Signal K. And now you can see there's a Venus OS 3.40, and this one, as you can see here, it is quite a long list what they have. And we'll go through, as always, go through the changelog first, then we'll do the update on my two devices, Raspberry Pi 4 is a test device, and then Raspberry Pi 3 is the more production unit, I would say. And that means this video is purely talking about 3.40. I was planning to release other videos first, but this one came first, so we'll start with the Venus S update again. And here we have the release notes, and those release notes, as you can see, were released as of yep, yesterday, or they were released of July 17th, um, I'm not too late this time. So here we have the highlights, and as always, I'm going through that very quick, so you have to pause the video if you want to read it carefully. And I try to copy everything else in the description below, same with all the links, what I'm purchased, what I'm using for my Raspberry Pi setup, and let's just go through the highlighted yellow stuff because that's what I thought might be more interesting that was an eye catcher for me so there's the link smart BMS then also add remote access to the Victron EV charging station that sounds very interesting we do have genset control integration DVCC managed batteries then there's another Venus OS large and this one for the node red so there's an update for node red that means um, save everything um, make a backup before continuing and uh, I'll Briefly, we'll um, go through that as well. Node.js. Other changes to the Ruby, you know, the, those Ruby uh, sensors, which I also have one, so we might see maybe if it works later. There's a Servo GX Mark II. Then we have Smart Chunts uh, UI, and then a couple other various improvements. The Modbus TCP, God, it's definitely a longer list, so as mentioned, stop it. If you pause the video if you need to developer re developer related I like the security <laughs> type has happened um, especially me individually there yeah couple typos whatever and then we have uh, Linux kernel used for all GX services enabled various net filter da -da -da. not needed for the kernel used on Raspberry Pi since it since it already had these modules enabled all right also MQ MQTT improvements important so with that being said let's start with the upgrades so here we have my Raspberry Pi 4 you can see it has a GPS also enabled it's the device here yeah, I have a 48 volt battery connected to it with the multi plus I have a one wire I have the Raspberry Pi processor says setup so setup helped is installed here as well we'll jump into menu first double click oh sorry we we'll jump into settings uh, firmware and let's see online update and we see already there is a 3.44 but I'm running my node red installation here on this one so that's my node red setup here I don't have to go into that um, there's a part one and part two in the production to release pretty soon as well so subscribe to the channel if you want to follow up with the node red installation want to know more about it just you know this is kind of my small dashboard I'm working with the whole time so regardless, we'll go into the three dots back in the right upper corner, do an export again, and I want to have, not selected, I want to have all flows. We are, flow one is the more important one for me, but I will do all flows here, and I will do the download. I'll save it, have it saved in my downloads folder in case I need to import it again, which would happen over here, and hopefully everything works out of the box, right? All right, going back to my remote console, now we can just press to update. And there it is already installing. I'll be back when it's installed. All right, so let's see, reconnect. Just see on a display, it's coming back online. And there we are. Looks like setup help is already installed. Pretty cool zoom in a little bit more so I can see that's great the one wire is in here multi plus raspberry pi 
I have everything I need in here. Nice. Except for the GPS. Looking at settings really quick. Firmware. There we can see it's installed 3.40. We also have the GPS. Nice. It's really good to see. And let me see. Menu. I'll go to pages. Here we are. Let me see if I can. Yep. I can hear it. Amazing. Everything up there. Turn it off again. It works. But the only thing I don't see is a temperature sensor from the multiplus. That's not a big deal at the moment. Let me see if Node Red works. That means Node Red opening. Here we are. We see everything which I had configured. We refresh this page as well. And yes, my. Nice. I even hear my relay board already. That works. That works on off nice pretty good actually I'm happy I'm, I'm surprised and it also looks like setup helper is already installed so do the sanity check package manager looking here active packages everything seems to be installed what I need Shut down everything there all right I would say that's successful I will, I'll have a quick pause and then we'll continue with the Raspberry Pi uh, 3, my production device, which is this one. But you will see the time is different, so for you it's like a second. Okay, now I'm back. You can see it's a little later. But now we'll update the Raspberry Pi 3, which I call my production device. You can see I do have connected propane tank, which is a Ruby sensor or Ruby tank sensor, however you want to call it. We have the Raspberry Pi processor temperature, which is also installed through Setup Helper. Then we have a smart chunk and we have the solar charger from Victor as well. Um, you see the time, it's uh, 9.30 p.m. already, so that means no sun out there. Anyways, we'll continue with uh, settings. Just use my keyboard. Double check firmware. Now we see 3.33 is installed. Let's check for online updates. We can see 3.40. We'll do one more check. 3.40 is still there. We will almost start but I also have a node right here which is really just a very small one here you can see this is just an example so no need to back up for me um, we'll just continue and install double click and as soon as it's done back up online I'll bring it back in let's see reconnecting through the network so now we see it it took some attempts to get back here let's see settings it does work firmware okay it did the update um, weird behavior, it took way longer than I expected, um, it did some reboots earlier than I thought, but I didn't pay attention to the um, download and installation process, so it was just quicker, but the reboot time when I didn't have the connection actually to the device was longer, it felt like, and it took a longer time to get a connection back in here. So now we see we have the new version 3.40, that's what you wanted to see when I go back settings, I still have propane tank, recipe pie, uh, temperature, Smart chunk and charger. So we'll go to pages next. Here we are. Propane tank is here. Temperature. Perfect. All good. Settings. Going all the way down to package manager. And active packages. And there we see. Everything's connected. I do not have a GPIO board. Uh, installed so there's also it's not installed here all right that looks good so very important because uh, I have a Ruby temperature propane tank in here so that's what I have sensor battery and that's pretty much it nice let's see if uh, flow still works we can connect it it looks like this is also working still there nice in my opinion that was a successful and easy installation this time again uh, let me know in the comments below if that's the same for you and if, if, if you have any questions leave in the comment section below as well thanks for watching see you next time Tschüss.